This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Netflix. What's up guys, Lou here, and I want to welcome you to my brand new series here on Unbox Therapy called In Review. I'm going to be doing these every week on every Monday, and what they are is a recap of what occurred during the previous week on Unbox Therapy, including a more opinion-driven take on some of the items that were featured here. After all, when I unbox them, I don't have very much time with the device, so giving you too much opinion is hard to do. Now, I get to use the device over the course of the week or a few days, and then I get some more impressions that I know a lot of you want me to share. I've had it requested on numerous occasions, so this should please you <laughs> to have this kind of show right here. In a sort of informal manner, I'll cover the products that were featured and my opinions. There is a second part to the show as well, a user-driven part part of the show where I pick six comments, not always six, but I picked six this week that were given by you guys on different videos, again, that were featured in the last week. Now, some had a lot of thumbs up. Other ones I just thought were interesting, so I'll go ahead and answer those and address those at the end of this video here. But first, let's talk about the products that were featured on the channel. First and foremost, these ones you see right here around my neck. These, of course, are the SMS Audio Street by 50 headphones. This is the wired model. I did previously unbox the wireless version of these, which is called the Sync by 50. And I know a lot of you want to know about these. In fact, I had some questions that I will be addressing at the end of the video about these headphones. But I just want to give you a quick take on them. I've used them now for about a week and my first impressions as you guys heard in the unboxing video were great these things are incredibly durable in fact you see here I can twist them like crazy they look good they have a really good appearance to them the materials and the build quality is fantastic um, I do really like these headphones you get some things featured in here that don't come in other headphones at lower price points like a detachable cable you've got a mic built in here tangle free cable as well um, and as I mentioned before, the styling is important. Now, a lot of people get upset and they say styling doesn't matter. Beats by Dre are just the, just for looks. These kinds of headphones are just for looks. Now, let me tell you something straight away. Styling does matter because after all, you put these on your body and therefore they become a piece of fashion whether we like it or not. Um, you might as well make the same argument for sneakers, clothing, watches, sunglasses, People definitely care about appearances. They do matter. Don't, you know, stop kidding yourself. But something else that I want to mention is that these headphones do sound good. They are not just all looks. I think that the sound quality, in my opinion, is far superior to that of the Beats product. Now, these don't have as deep a bass as my other headphones, which I'll grab right here real quick. Sorry for that, folks. My Sony XB500s which a lot of you know I keep talking about. These are a nice light headphone with a super comfortable padding here and an incredibly deep bass response. But those headphones don't look very nice and that matters because I don't really wear them out in public that much. I do most of my listening right here in this room that, that you guys see me in. So it doesn't really matter. Appearance is not as important. But if I was going out, I would consider the fact that I look like Princess Leia walking around. I don't want something that's quite that big or quite that padded. So that's something to consider. I'd say these headphones are superior to those ones in the sense that the mid-range, sort of where a hip-hop vocal lives, is a little bit clearer than on the XP500s, but the XP500s do deliver an insane amount of bass for things like dubstep, etc. Those, to me, are still an insane value at the price you're going to pay, 60 or $70, whatever they go for. You're getting a lot back for your money, but like I said before, they're not doing you any favors in the styling department. So, that's a little bit of my take on these particular headphones here. I did have a question come in from user Ruben952556 asking me to compare these headphones right around my neck to the Beats Studio. Would that be something you guys would be interested in? Let me know down in the comments section if you want to see that kind of a video. Do you want to see the Street by 50 compared to the Beats Studio here on Unbox Therapy? Okay, the next product that was featured... On the channel this week, of course, is the Pico Dolly, which was sent to me by PhotoJojo.com. Once again, I want to give a big thanks to them for sending it out to me. And if you guys didn't catch the video, you should go check it out because that thing can produce some incredible results in, in a very small package, in a very small form factor. I'll put, a, I'll put some imagery in front of you right now so you can appreciate it. 
I'm incredibly impressed with this product right here. I have to tell you guys, um, I'm over the moon because it's going to improve my productions and it's going to do so in a manner that doesn't sort of take too much extra time like some other products I've used in the past to get moving shots. It sits on my table. It's super small. It's incredibly adjustable. It's only 90 bucks. I can't recommend it enough. A lot of people in the comment section, not a lot, but a few were suggesting that 90 was overpriced because you can build these things yourself. Let me tell you something. You will not build anything close to this quality for that amount of money. The flexibility is really what it's all about. At any time during your shot, you can quickly adjust it. You can put a smartphone up in here. You can put a point-and-shoot camera, a digital SLR, anything along those lines. And for me, that is easily worth the $90 price of admission. I do love this product. Okay, those have been some quick opinions of mine on the products featured over the past week. I'll be doing the same thing, as I said before, on, in the following Monday after I see you know what's been featured here during the following week. So let's get into your portion of the show, the viewer portion of the show, and I'll tackle some comments that were left on various videos. The first one from Mr. Tasmania123456. The question is, when are you going to unbox the GB6900 G-Shock? Now, if you guys are wondering what the hell is that, I'm pretty sure he's referring to a watch that I featured back during CES 2012. This watch has Bluetooth integration in one of the best sort of manners that I have seen in previous Bluetooth watches. And that's because you don't have to recharge it all the time. A number of different things. If you haven't checked out my video yet, uh, go do so. I'll put probably put an annotation here as well as a link down in the description to go watch that video if you please. And, and in terms of unboxing it, I'm still waiting for it to be released or at least available. Is it is it only out in Japan? I don't really know. If you know anything about where I can buy this damn watch from, let me know down in the comments because I haven't been able to track down an actual place to purchase it as of yet. But when I can, definitely I'll be unboxing it. The next one is from user DB Gus TKD7. Holy smokes. 26 thumbs up on this one. Can you do an unboxing of the Astro Gaming equipment? I assume you're talking about the very popular Astro Gaming headsets. So I'm going to be completely honest with you here. I reached out to Astro a while ago, maybe four or five months ago. I said, listen, my audience is asking for your product. Can I feature it on the channel? Will you send me anything out? Um, they actually did not want to work with me. At least they were saying they had certain policies regarding YouTube based reviews and so on and so forth. So I didn't, you know, I didn't pick them up at that point. I really don't personally need another headset. And I did want to compare it at least to other headsets that have been featured on the channel. So if you guys really want to see that equipment, go and tweet at Astro Gaming or send them a message or tell them that they deserve the unbox therapy treatment and that they're crazy for not working with me. Maybe, who knows, maybe they'll listen. Maybe the, the stuff will show up on my channel. You guys will get my take on it. The next one, the next question or comment comes from J4YH1D. It says, with 27 thumbs up, a video on your knife. It looks awesome! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> Now, this is a weird one. My, my channel's not really about knives. Obviously, I use them to open packages, but it's not really about the knives. Granted, this has 27 thumbs up, and it's not the first time that it's been posed to me. So let me know down in the comments. You guys want to see more about my knives, about my knife collection? Let me know down below. The last comment of the day comes from DBX79. I'm not much into 50 Cent, but you should do an unboxing and comparison with the RZA headphones. I'd like to know how good those RZA headphones are. Now, the RZA headphones were one of the few headphones I didn't get a chance to see down at CES 2012. And, you know, I really am interested in them. I do want to check them out on the channel. I haven't been in touch with that co with the company behind them. I believe it's called Wesk. Um, I haven't been in touch with them yet. But let me know down below. Was that a comparison you guys would like to see? Along with the Beat Studio comparison, it seems like a lot of people want to see these compared to other headphones. Let me know what your interest level is down below in that kind of comparison. Anyway, guys, that has been the very first episode of In Review. Once again, this will be on Unbox Therapy every Monday. I will look back at the things that were featured and give you slightly more in the way of opinion in, a, in this casual form factor. If you guys like this new concept, if you like this show, then please do like and favorite the video as it does help me out a bunch. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that too. And I'm going to let you roll out here on a quick message from the sponsor for this episode of Unbox Therapy. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Later. Netflix streams TV shows and movies straight into your home, saving you time, money, and of course, hassle. 
As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii console. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and you can cancel anytime. For a limited time only, get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash therapy and sign up now. Be sure to use that URL and the slash therapy to let them know that we sent you over and also to help support the show.